This week's Torah portion, Ha'azinu, contains the last few hours of Moses' life. He's poised on the other side of the Jordan River overlooking the land of Israel. He's allowed to look, but he's not allowed to enter. It seems cruel. Thanks for leading the people out of slavery in Egypt and through the wilderness for 40 years. Here's the destination. You can look, but don't touch. Well, Larry Friedberg wrote, why doesn't Moses protest his not being able to enter the promised land? Hasn't he earned it? Hasn't he worked hard enough? Maybe, but to focus on this issue misses the entire point. God gave Moses a better gift, something that would be fulfilled, that the Israelites, his children, would enter the promised land. Think of it. What would we give to know on our deathbeds that our children would be successful? Happily married for their entire lives, die at a ripe old age? What will we give to know that the seeds of ideas we planted years ago would rise to fruition? Remember the words of Pirkei Avot, it's not upon you to complete the work, nor are you free to desist from it. The most important things in our lives are never complete. We never complete the work of justice or of love. In it, we keep working, recognizing that the greatest gift of our labor is the ability for others to pick up the mantle and carry forward our vision. Shabbat Shalom.